All right, let's pull up our GPTF deck here. That's why Mobile Analytics is so good. It just gives you everything you need. So GPTF is Bilgewater SI. All right, this was our old, old GPTF deck. It did quite well on ladder. Let me see what new cards are available here, first of all. Do any of these cards fit? No, no, no. I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah, none of it fits. Only possible card to fit is Unspeakable Horror. Maybe I just cut this Lagers out, put Unspeakable Horror. It's a good card overall. Let's try it like this. I like one Dreadway. I'm a pretty big fan. Let's see how the deck feels. Watch me run into nothing but control, though. That's that's my main fear with this deck. That could be a bit rough. All right, so we're up against um, a control deck. But this is not really a true control deck. It's a more of a fast-paced control deck. Uh, pretty good. Pretty decent. This is a this is a good opening hand, I would say. I like everything here. Spooky Karma with Unspeakable Horror. Bam, your Nightfall deck now. Wait, what? Kind of lost there. I don't want to give him value for my keg. I'll wait until he plays something, until I, then I'll, I'll just follow up with the Dreadway here. Tresh, Soul, upgrade Tresh. Nice. So we get to kill his keg for free. That feels really good. I know. I know it sucks. Outplayed. Where's Nunu? Missing in action. Nunu decides to take a break. We've seen Nunu, actually. It's not true that we've not seen Nunu here. We've seen Nunu around. Does he kill my Kyag or not? Deny him one charge. That's, that's kind of nice. If he wants to Mystic Shot this, that's okay as well. I mean... He is losing losing a lot of value with Mystic Shotting that. That's not bad. Yeah, I like the start. I like the start overall. So now we have a very, very good TF drop. Like turn four TF here is super strong. So Make It Rain can actually mess up his block. He might mess up his Make It Rain. Yeah, that looks like a Make It Rain if I'm... We want him... That's really good. Wow. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent, dude. What's he at? 3 out of 8? Okay. Outplayed. Well, we're still not doing that great, if we're being honest. It's not like we're going to level this guy up. Wow, that's, that's a really good draw. Watch me get a 0-2. Or 0-3. I mean, that's not bad. I can live with a 2-1. It's not horrible. I mean, getting to trade like this is kind of decent. Only problem is I have no GP and Rekindler into TF really sucks. Like, it, it sucks major. Major suck. When I'm not sniping, I spent my time stuck. <laughs> Alright, dude. Alright, dude. I have nothing to play. Wow. I have no cards to play. The problem is we didn't run into aggro. Like, this is... This is... An anti-aggro deck. I'm going to play this now. Because I have another one for Ezreal. I have a Vengeance for Ezreal as well. Generally speaking, I have Kex plus Withering Whale. Down the line as well. So I'm not really mad. So Ezreal's what? 5 out of 8? Like, Alligator's my main concern. When he plays T-Rex down on the board, that's where I get screwed over. I might just have to play Rekindler here if I don't draw Gangplank. I have to, yeah. I have no choice. Oh, never mind. That was nice of him. I could have waited for him to attack before doing that. But this could incentivize him to play a second Ezreal, which I can Vengeance. Okay. Alright, one more chance to draw into um into Gangplank. Or into another unit. We've got a lot of units in this deck. Salvage would be good too. The box is no good. But I'm going to pass and see what he plays. Like, the box isn't horrible. Because if I play this and he plays Alligator, I lose the game almost. That's what it looks like he's playing that into Alligator. So let's just, yeah, let him do it. 
Let him swing for full damage. You know what? I'm gonna go for Rekindler now. If he's not playing Alligator, we're out of we're out of problems for that. Hopefully he didn't steal Rekindler. That would be sick. That would be kind of disgusting. <laughs> Alright, dude. That's so disgusting. This is a waste if I use it now. I need to have this plus this for Ezreal if I want to have a good removal. I have a lot of ways to kill this on attack. It's not a big deal. So here comes the... The Riptide Rex. Yeah, I mean, we have Box plus Make It Rain. Yes, now we make it rain. Six out of eight. What is... Gangplank's only 2 out of 5? Wow. Or is it 1 out of 5? 2 out of 5. Blue card. Maybe I should put a third salvage into this deck. That does seem kind of nice. You love the new grappler? Thank you. Oof, that's nice. Okay. 7 out of 8, right? Nice card. Nice card. That's really good. I've got enough for this plus this. I'm pretty happy with that option. Oh wow, now I have a way to kill um, Ezreal as well. And we have a Gangplank. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Like, having mana to kill Ezreal is just the most important thing at the moment, I would say. So Ezreal's leveled up. We have Vengeance the Killer. Um, he can't play her this turn. It's going to have to be Box plus um, Parlay, I think. I have quite a bit of heal. He's down to two Ezreals. I can kill Ezreal with Vengeance multiple times in a row. He didn't have that dude earlier on, which is good for us. So let's just kill this off. Box now, yeah, for sure. Now we box and we parlay to finish up the 7-1. Because I want to be building up my, my um, Gangplank to 6-6 at this point. And doing 1 damage here just feels pretty good. And usually it's gonna, just going to be him. He plays Ezreal, I play Vengeance, and we party. That's a pretty good card. Never lost a fair game. Draws a card, okay. He can still play Ezreal. I'm going to have to play on um, Petty Officer here. He can't level that super fast. And we'll see what he plays after I play this. Horrible. I mean, I guess it means he can't attack with a 2-2. Two -two. That's kind of nice. Um, what is Ezreal at? Ezreal's a 3-cost card, right? I wonder if I play this guy now. I think I do. If he plays Ezreal, he can't cast the Mystic Shot from Ezreal. I can't pass. I need to have... um. Actually, yeah, maybe I should have passed. Maybe you're right. You lose Keg. That's true. Wait, what? Why does he drop this down to 1 HP? He didn't kill the Keg! <laughs> he didn't kill the Keg, boys. What is that? What is the Pepeganus there? Oh my god. Make it rain. Post combat. Post combat, we make it rain. Well, actually, I think we do um, with Withering Whale here. It's better. We want to make sure we can hit this guy. We still have seven men available after Withering. And if Withering doesn't go through, I can just do the second Withering or the Make It Rain. Nice. Okay. Alright, now we're just hoping for an Ezreal drop to kill one Ezreal, and then we have one Ezreal left to worry about, and we can win the game, hopefully. Okay. That's fine. Where's his Ezreal, though? Come on. Come on, Ezreal. Ooh, nice card. Nice card. Nice card. I mean, he's done to 14 cards. Yes! No stolen card. Fantastic. No card got stolen. I lost my Dreadway, unfortunately. Oh, that's really good. I can risk it. Thank you for the sub there. Turpo Tupa. 112. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you very much. This is really cool. 
There's an argument to be made to um do this first. Nah, I don't think it's worth. I don't think the argument's good enough. So he's losing this. That's kind of nice. Okay. I don't think we remove board. I think we're going to need this to be able to remove his second T-Rex, his third T-Rex. If we don't have that kind of removal, I think we're in trouble. You already drew the Yeti? Oh my god. Oh, that sucks, dude. That really sucks. Okay. I'm just going to chump lucky with my Warden Spray. He'll generate a card for me. I I just need to draw my Gangplanks, my Rekindler. How many? Re I have double Rekindler, I guess. Okay. That's fair. Come on, Ezreal. Show yourself. We're both top decking super hard. I my, my deck should have more... Wait, I'm down to 8 cards? How am I down to 8 cards? I need to win soon. I drew more than he did. Wow. Okay. Okay, Um, Make It Rain is good here. Now we can actually get value out of Make It Rain. That's down to 3. He has to block this guy, theoretically. Which means I can play my Vile Feast on him as well. And push 2 damage to face. 3 damage to face. Now we're just going full spider aggro at this point. We're spider boys. We got this. I can't even draw, man. Where's my GP and Rekindler? Come on, deck. Come on, deck. I need Gangplank and need Rekindler. Gangplank's leveled up, I think, as well. Pretty sure he's up now. Yeah, he is. Alright, that's one Ezreal dead. Make it rain Wincon, pretty much. Ezreal's dead. We got the kill in Ezreal. We need Rekindler or Gangplank at this point. Come on, game. Come on, game. Maybe there's a car maybe there's a concept where I have to just glimpse this and just go for faster win before he can draw his big cards. Like this this is a pretty good um argument for playing glimpse. Oh my, there it is. There it is, boys. There it is, boys. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. Your king has returned. Okay. We got the rekindler. Even if he kills this with a thermo beam, even if he kills it with a thermo beam, we've got plays we can do. It's a Rex play. Okay. Don't kill this. Don't be that lucky to get three hits on this. Good. Good. Okay. Um, This is two damage. So I want to hit face for two here. First one is on him. How is the sec- Well, this is dying no matter what, because he gets two hits. It's fine. Draw? I'm never drawing here, chat. I can't draw- Look, I'm down to five cards. That'll be three- I need to extend my place here. I have one more GP in the deck, right? I've got more gangplanks in the deck where I can hit with- This is hitting overwhelmed damage. This is overwhelming him. Actually, how good is draw here? I'm hitting for four. Like, this is a lot of damage. He's going to block the Gangplank. This is hitting for five if he blocks the Gangplank, so... He has a better job blocking that, generally speaking. He's on to five. We're not dead yet. We have one more Gangplank to play with. Thermo? He had a Thermo, okay. I think I need to win next turn. I think I might need to win next turn. Because he's down to two cards left. You have quickly become one of my favorite content creators. Hey, thank you, Loyal. Royal. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Okay. We play this next turn every time because we want to be able to use the keg in order to um, buff him. Weird game. What a weird game, dude. All my GP's at the back of the deck, unfortunately. We always just take the hit here. Because we want to be able to do this into this. Yes, no steal. Thank you. Thank you, no steal. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, boys. That's absolutely fine. Withering Whale... Let's see what happens with the Withering Whale here. I think that's enough. And I think we have to go for the um, 
for the Gangplank parlay here. We can reshuffle the Gangplank at that point, it doesn't even matter. We might have lethal here. We might have lethal here. Only champs left in deck. Oh, that's a good point as well. That could be it. It might be my TFs left. Actually, I don't think it's only TFs though. It might be actually. You might be right. You might be right. Like this is lethal, right? Ooh, look what we found. We found an unspeakable horror. <laughs> Got him. All right. We outvalued an Ezreal TF deck. I'm pretty happy with that. We got to outvalue an easy TF deck. Literally made him run out of resources. Fantastic. That feels good. That actually feels good. The real unspeakable horror is the draws of this game. I mean, we drew our entire deck, to be fair. What's kind of unlucky is all of our GPs were at the bottom of the deck. This deck feels really strong in the current meta. Because there's no aggro burn, per se, so... I beat most mid-range decks with this. Because... Okay, so here's the thing. In the current meta, nobody's running removal. Nobody runs hard removal. Why do they not run it? Because of spell shield. Because they feel like stuff like Vengeance doesn't work versus spell shield. This is probably the fastest deck I'm going to run into. I just need to get every one of my drain cards here and make it rain's amazing as well. No one vengeance is in ladder today. I mean, no, because yeah, they run obliterate, but ab obliterate is slow. Keep that in mind. It's not as good. I think you need some sleep. Are you, are you insane? I've had so much sleep. I'm feeling amazing. I feel really good. I don't need sleep at all. All right, we've got a pretty good uh, vile feast or make it rain, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. Vile feast is usually better here. Because I get to block his 1-1 and level up my 3-3. I'm going to go for this instead. Because then he can only attack once with this. If he attacks, this becomes a 3-3. I can open attack with it. And he has 2-3 to block with. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hasn't fully awakened yet. See? Easy. Easy peasy. A lemon squeezy. This always attacks. And hits face. Because he never blocks it. He doesn't want a 3-3. Nice. Do your worst. Very good start so far. Wow. Yes, please. Yes, please, indeed. He's afraid of, um... He's afraid of... Not, not about not getting through the attack, but me blocking his 1-1 one, one and having a 3-3 three, three on board to block future attacks. Mawile Apocalypse. Gifted a tier 1 sub to Welfare CZ. Thank you for the sub. Sub number 16 for the day. Thanks, buddy. There's a deck redemption. Oh, I'll play it. Nice. Ziga's deck. I like it. That's pretty good. Am I ever playing double make it rain here? I don't think I am. I'm, play I'm playing... Ah, I don't think I am now. Because I, I want to play make it rain with Gangplank. I lose too much value otherwise. I think I might have to take this damage... Like, Double Make It Rain only reduces 3 damage, and it doesn't even always work. It misses occasionally. Okay. What a weird game. It's being mana efficient. I'm just going to go for it. I can play the second one normally. Thank you for the sub there. Glowy worries, man. Thank you very much. 17 subs for the day. And yeah, I appreciate that. You can't unhibit my clairvoyance. <laughs> How did, that's actually not a bad um that's a that's probably the best possible naked rain I could have gotten. No lies. I think it's it's the best one. That's kinda nasty. Uh Wow. Can I let him level up as a least? Probably not. Ooh. That's not bad. That's not that bad at all. Um, because we still have um gangplank into um, what you call it? What is he at? Two out of five, three out of five. We can still play gangplank's parlay here. I'm a little bit concerned about um glimpse though. I gotta admit that glimpse bothers me just a little bit. Best make it rain. No, um, not necessarily because I'm always playing this and I always have a keg. I guess it plays around Vile Feast to an extent. Please play a 3-cost unit. That's all I ask for here. One 3-cost unit so I don't have to worry about Vile Feast or Glimpse. I mean, I don't care about Vile Feast. I care about Glimpse more than anything. Your luck is back. It is. I told you guys, I'm saving my luck for the expansion. And that's where it's at. Yeah, I mean, Parlay is always correct here. Is it though? Because he's never, he's never blocking with this. I might as well do Parlay after he... 
plays some value cards. You know what? You know what could happen here? He might simply not block. He simply might not block anything. Wanting to level up. Yep. So we'll we'll take that value to the bank. How's Chad doing? I think Chad's doing good. He missed minions, yeah. Five head, always. No, he played Elise's Spiderlings. I don't think he has a second Elise in hand. I don't think he, he main decks Spiderlings, the Elise card. Yep, he, it was an Elise card indeed. So what we really want to find now is Withering Whale, um, Grass, everything that does drain basically is what we want to find. That's not bad, dude. That's pretty dang good. Come on, one more unit, one more unit. Give me the value. One more. Uno mas, please. Por favor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Por favor. We've got really good blockers as well. Like, his attacks here suck. The value machine. Indeed. Indeed. I don't block the fourth something. I think I do, um... You know, actually, I might I might want to block this just because of Rekindler. Because he might actually kill it this turn, which wouldn't be bad. And because he's playing Darius... Oh, he's not playing Darius? Interesting. Interesting. I might want this guy to die. If he has a way to kill it with, like, a Vile Feast, I just Rekindler. Because right now, Rekindler is a dead card in hand. It swims deck. Yeah. Swing for the fences. One to three HP. Okay. So we do have him now. Can he win? It's going to be difficult, but it's possible. I, I can find a lot of drain with Glimpse, though. I can find a lot of drain with this. There's a lot of good cards I can get with this that can just get me way above his threshold. So I'm, I'm almost always preemptively Glimpsing here. I don't know on who, though. Ooh, that's a good card. Hello. Down to one. If it plays Noxion Fervor, I think I follow up with Glimpse immediately. Immediately. It is a Noxion Fervor. Let's uh let's draw cards off of this then. Vile Feast would be annoying, but if he has Vile Feast, I have Lethal next turn, so it's a pretty dead card otherwise. That's a very good card. Ooh, hello. What's better here? I don't know what's better out of these two. I don't know which one's better. What am I at? Four to five? Any damage card would give it to me. Nice. Good afternoon, sir. It's 355 here in the Philippines. Good afternoon, buddy. Good afternoon. It's 4.55 a.m. here in Brazil. All right. Yo, this deck is um, absolutely destroying the ladder. I'm loving it. All right, this deck deserves a name. GP Kegs TF. Perfect. Not bad. Not D4 hearts. I was never hard stuck in D4. I was playing a lot of meme decks and experimenting. We said we were going to do that. The moment we hit Diamond 4, we said we are going to meme for a day or two and then play more. Modify kick control? Yeah. One, two... Um, I don't think either of these make the cut anymore. Because this this is a very slow deck. We want to go like super fast. Level up or Twisted Fate if possible. Um, I mean, this does die to Avalanche, unfortunately. Good thing is this doesn't. Ketamine is better than Aurelion? No way. Not a chance. We never we never open attack into turn two, because usually he has nothing on turn two. It's usually going to be a pass here into ramp next turn. Have you tried TFW easy deck? No. Oh! I hate it when I do that. I, I read chat, and I pass. <sighs> Stop talking to chat during your attack token. I can't help it. Pass into ramp. It's fine if he has a ramp card. It's not fine if he has um, Avalanche. It's kind of worth it. Gives me a pretty good open attack next turn, but... I lost so much value here, guys. Oh my god. I lost 3 damage to face. He should be a 15, not 18. Surrender. I'm not going to surrender, guys. I'm just going to play perfect from now on. I'm being playing, giving you a fair chance to win. <laughs> true. True. True indeed. He's got no ramp. Like, what's he going to do without ramp here? What's his follow-up? This draws every every single time. Shame concede. I've already shame conceded like twice today. I can't do a third time. 
I can't do it again, chat. I can only do it once per game. I mean, once per stream or twice per stream. Can't get into the habit of that. Whose deck is this? Mine. I built it. Be honest. What do you mean? It's my deck, bro. I built this deck two months ago. It's on my mobile lytics. Exclamation mark decks. Third time's the charm. Nice. Hmm. That's a really good draw. How dare you say you built it, Ikatios? How dare you? Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have leveled up TF. We've got a leveled up TF. I like that. Probably Withering Whale sucks here. I really like that. Let's go, boys. He attacks with the 4 6, go for it. And I get to glimpse this card. Nice. That's super good. He shouldn't have answers to this unless he runs some really weird cards that I'm not expecting. Oh, another TF. Nice. Okay. So we got two TFs in hand and a level up TF. All right. Let's take it. Let's get it. If I had one more mana, I could replay the TF if he killed him, but he's not going to kill him this round. So sick. All right, now now we have a game plan how to win this. We've got a game plan. I mean, I replaced some cards. I took my old deck and I, I replaced a few cards to build this one. Mm -hmm. Probably playing Gangplank's Parlay here because it's going to do damage to Tower anyway. And then we follow up with um, maybe something weird. I don't know. Depends what we draw here as well. Kill the 3-3. Three, three. I'm gonna kill him. My me. This kills the 3-3, three, three, so... This kills 3-3, three, three, also hits face for 1. Well, 2 with this, I guess. The question is, after that, what do I do? I can't play this, and I'm not even sure if I can play Glimpse here. I'm not sure if I can do that. To get the stun on the 4-6. And plus, even if I get the stun on the 4-6, is that good enough of a reason to attack? I might just want to pass here. Why not hit Trundle? Because I'm not killing Trundle ever. I'm never killing Trundle. You can't attack? Actually, yes, I can. I, I might be able to. Let me think about it. Actually, yeah, I can attack. I can, I can attack with Gangplank. Gangplank attack is not that bad. Trundle's at 5 HP. He doesn't even kill me in, in response. Trundle kills his 3-6, which is a 3-5. Wow, that's a weird play. Okay. Well, I guess I, I don't attack now for sure. Because the only thing getting stunned is Trundle, so I never play any more cards here. I wonder if I attack with him. I gotta think about this. Like, what can possibly block this guy? Nah, I never attack. I'm just gonna end the round. Glimpse TF and attack. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Let's, let's glimpse for TF, dude. I love it. If the game allows you to attack, just do it. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good strategy and advice for Igrodex. I mean, I can't complain. He's, his name is Invoker. He's gonna be invoking a lot of cards. He needs to think. It's a, it's a hard deck to play, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. I wonder how good it is to block this guy. I think it's very good because um, we are playing, whatchamacallit, we are playing a deck that runs Rekindlers and we have two of them in hand. So losing this guy even now is not a big deal. Like he's looking to Avalanche here, right? I'm going to play this. He Avalanches and doesn't even kill my guy. I mean, he can't even Avalanche because he's going to be killing his own Trundle. So overall, we've got a lot of plays. Let's see what we draw with this. Might be Invoker from Dota. I'm a big Dota. I'm a big Invoker fan. That was my main character forever. I used to main Invoker and only Invoker. Well, hello. That's a nice card. That actually does two AoE damage plus one three AoE damage. What's his follow up here? He doesn't have a very good one. Like, is it Avalanche? If it is, it doesn't really matter because I can replay my Twisted Fate and then play Rekindler on my turn. Seeing a lot of Jinx the last few days. I think this deck is very good versus the Jinx deck as well. It should be very good. Mega Avalanche. What, what is he passing into? Like, is it a Mega Avalanche? I mean, I'm playing this every time. Glimpse the Deckhand. I, I'd rather play this and glimpse both of these guys. If he wants to play Avalanche, I can just um, drop my second Twisted Fate. It's not a big deal. If he has Mega Avalanche, go for it. It doesn't matter. Because if he doesn't have it, I'm so far ahead. If he doesn't have a second Mega Avalanche. I mean, if he doesn't have Mega Avalanche, I'm so far ahead with this play that it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a red card anyway. Well, that's true, actually. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should have just... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should have definitely done that. Five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, I would have had six mana. I can't play Rekindler. 
It's the beta. Wait, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? I mean, he's still dead here. I guess I'm just going to glimpse here. That'll stun him. And I don't need two damage to be dealt to these guys. I just want maximum damage to him at this point in case he has one more. Oh, glimpse the keg. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Glimpsing the keg might be right. I didn't even think about glimpse. I, I forget that, that I'm going to get the damage done before the glimpse. That's a good point. That, that, that was a misplay in that case. I should have glimpsed the keg indeed. Okay. He has no ramp yet into A-Soul, which is the most important part. Dead in their tracks. I should have definitely glimpsed the keg. 100%. That deck doesn't run answers to that. Only real issue is that we don't have anything for Rekindler to play into. That's the only real issue we have. Um, he can't really block my guy. Actually, both of them must attack here, I think. I've got so many good plays if they, if they both attack. Let me see. Five, nine. I can play both of these. I can't stun him, though. One, two, three, four, five. I can. I'm fine. I have to open attack. Because Mega Avalanche is really bad right now. Cheap spells, please. No cheap spells, huh? It's a shame. I was really hoping for cheap spells. Now I actually... This might actually cost me a lot. If he has another of those cards. Let's find out. He needs to have the specific plus 2 HP card again. And I don't think he would have played the card he had last time if he had it. Like, he has to be a top deck at this point. I think he would have saved Bastion if he had another one. So, let's find out. The 2-1 card doesn't do anything because it gets him to exact lethal. So it has to be the plus 2, plus 0, plus, zero, plus 2 right off the top deck. It has to be a top deck. Otherwise, I have him, I think. Unless he runs really weird stuff. Maybe Harsh wins. Yeah, maybe Harsh Winds was something to think about there. Not everyone runs Harsh Winds, but... I could have played around Harsh Winds for sure. Oh, we got to hit him for a lot of damage here. Wow. That's pretty sick. Sweet. Mega Avalanche is pretty good for me, actually, believe it or not. Because I get to replay my Gangplank next turn with Rekindler. So I actually like Mega Avalanche here. And him being leveled up is absolutely insane. He can't play Aesol yet, and even if he plays Aesol, he's super far behind with one Aesol, no level up condition. I could even go for Dreadway here. Dreadway into Rekindler is probably the best play I have. Probably. Is Endure a viable deck in this meta? It can be. It can be good. Um, it's hard to say how good, but it can be good, sure. It depends what you're running against and how well you build it. It can win games, like no doubt about that. All right, boys, here comes the big question. How are we playing this round? Uh, probably with Petty Officer to open with, maybe? Because I need I need to stun whatever's hitting this guy, right? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe Dreadway. Like, Dreadway makes his life really difficult. It gives me two mana to play around with, so I can do one AoE as well. Maybe Dreadway's the right play. Please stop with Mega Avalanche and call it Icequake. I keep forgetting, because um, he shouts Mega Avalanche. What the hell is that? I'm not sure what to do here. On one hand, I really like playing Petty Officer into um, Keg. I feel like it's pretty good. Because then my, my um, what do you call it? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a card off of it as well. Because my AoE card now does so much more damage. I'm hitting literally for three to face. With whatever I play. So we've got four damage to face this turn if we want it. Nice. Nice, nice. Five to phase this turn if you want it. Avalanche. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so we gotta we gotta spend this card. 100 percent 100 percent need to spend this card. Can we down to three? His dudes are down to three. Okay. He's down to two. And he gets stunned by whatever I get. I also want. I also want to see what I get out of, um... You know what? This might be better, because he might have a heal card for this guy. Now that guy dies. But I do less damage to face. Nah. I want to do more damage to face. Why not box? Because the box only hits this thing. It doesn't do enough. 
Glimpse. I could have played Glimpse here as well, yeah. I'm not even sure if... Oh my god. Is that lethal? If he doesn't have a burst heal, that might be lethal. That's pretty good. I gotta say, that's pretty dang good. And this guy dies. Let's Because I, I don't want to play both in the same time. Because if I play both, he knows he has to heal face. He might actually heal his 5-2 here. And stay at 1 HP. He might play his 5 cost heal card on his dude. Thinking that he has, um, what do you call it? The 3-3 three, three in hand to heal for 3. Right? So there's a, there's, a, there's a chance he heals this up. Thinking that he has to kill this off. Right? That way I can just replay this right afterwards. Because he has no 3 cost heals that are their burst speed, that are fast speed. He only has slow speed, which is his um, Tavern Keeper. So yeah, dropping him to one is really good. Okay, so he went for face. He chose face. It's admirable. He made the right play. Now, this is exactly what I was playing around by not playing this. F fantastic, fantastic. We're good. We're in a good spot. He's smart. He's being smart, yeah. I mean, he has to be at this point. Now, the question really comes down to, what is my next play? I'm, I'm always passing here. The question is, what am I going to do next turn? Am I playing Gangplank, Rekindler? Is that the best play I have? And I think the answer is yes. I think I have to play this. Now, here's the problem. What, I, let's say I play this and he plays Aesol. How am I getting around Aesol? Like, I'm not doing any AoE damage. Nah, I still play this. It's 100% correct. Rekindler, yeah. It has to be Rekindler. It's too strong not to be. Then pull Ice Pillar? Yeah. 100%. He can't play Aesol here. Very good top deck. He can't kill this with anything in his deck. Like, unless he got a, a really good card off his... Oh, okay. Okay. Um, That's 10 heal. He's at 16 HP now. It's a bit of an oof. I gotta admit, it's a bit of an oof. But we still have a lot of damage coming through here. Like, we're dealing, we're dealing a ton of damage. And we have to attack before he can play that on board. Uh, this will pull this in. And this in this attack. It's definitely an open attack. But the big thing is also we have to play an AoE damage card. Or any card at that. Any card at that will do. To activate the... So I think we're going to grasp here. I mean, glimpse here. Wait, is he? That's not lethal, Chad. I, I have to do lethal before I do anything. Make it rain? Sure. Make it rain is good. Make it rain should finish him, actually. It's strong enough. It should give lethal right off the bat. Yeah, we're good. We're good. He actually missed this guy, unfortunately, but then this is going to do um, two damage anyway, so it's still dead. We have two plus one, three. Yeah, we're good. As long as we activated um, red card, we're good. Oh, wait, he's at three, actually. Maybe we don't have lethal here. Oh boy. Did I misplay this? Missed the other pillar? Yeah, but the other pillar is still dying before I do my AoE hit, so it's not that big of a deal. Old Grappler would never miss. Oh no, chat, you made me misplay. All I had to do was, um... Wow, I misplayed here. I had to stun this with my thing. I think this was a misplay, indeed. I just had to stun this. This was the thing getting stunned, right? I had to play this naturally and uh, stun afterwards. I mean, look, a really good player, like a really good player, will always get lethal off this card. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad at that. We're fine. Could have stunned, yeah, I could have stunned, but I'm going to get lethal off of this. It's whatever. Wait, do I actually do that, though? Do I ever make that play? I think I have to wait for that, because there is a decent chance he um, has another heal card in hand. You know what the play here is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, my hand's full. Wait for kegs. I think it's waiting for kegs indeed. Remove his barrier. It's a horrible play. Yeah, we just we just kill him in burst speed. This plus AoE from him is good enough. If he plays a slow heal, he's he's done for. I think he's already played two burst heals. He'd have to have his last heal in hand, which would be sick. So let's see what he op he opens with here. Let's see what his opener is. And then again, we also have Dreadway to open it with as well. Next turn, Dreadway into Nightfall. I can do that as well. Though if he plays a heal card, I have to go for Burst Lethal, which is going to be um, whatever card plus Unspeakable Horror. Usually it's going to be um, something like, I don't know, Grasp into Unspeakable Horror. I don't know. 
Is this your last game? Oh wow, it is. It is my last game. What wow, time really flew today. There's one. There's two. So he played two already. I think we're good to win this now. He would have played a heal if he had it. I think this is the safest play we have. Wow. We've got it, boys. We Use the Dreadway ship. Ooh, Dreadway would have been better, right? Dreadway is pushing six damage to face. Not that it matters too much, I think. I think we're good. Just going all out face here. Yeah, but Dreadway would have been better. I think Dreadway was the play, actually. Because Dreadway sets up a huge hit. Yikes, dude. I'm down to two. Okay. I mean, he's st he's still dead to a lot of stuff. Is this three to everything? That's kind of nice. I'll let that go through. I mean, it should be good game already. I'm open attacking with Gangplank. I'm stunning this guy so he can't do much. Like, this, his Aurelian is getting stunned so he can't even attack with him. I'm chump blocking him with whatever I want. And I might even draw a lethal off of this pretty easily. So it's not even a big deal. Play another GP. Let's see what this generates first. Horrible. I guess we just pass here. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards on the hand. This is almost always correct to look for lethal. Plus, we can draw like um, a normal natural GP to drop on the board. Yeah, GG boys. There we go. This card is really good. I'm really happy I got this card in my deck. It feels so much stronger than um than Vile Feast. Three of these is really sick. Got him, boys. Got the Invoker. Oh, that would have been a nice card, too. Whew. Fun game. Fun game. I'm, I'm loving this deck. I think this deck is really sick. It feels very solid.